Hi guys, uh, now one of my, this video today will be a video I haven't done in quite a while. Um, it will be my recap, or my review, of all my drama school editions I had in 2016, this year. Um, so yeah, I've done drama school recap videos last year and the year before. They got a lot of views, a lot of good feedback from a lot of you fellow actors. Um, and yes, this was my third year auditioning for drama schools, and I'm just going to basically all cram it into one big video. Um, so this is something I didn't really want to do, to be honest, because I just don't want to bring it back all up again. But yeah, a lot of people got back to me saying, you know, Adam, do, do, do another recap video if you like them. So yeah, this is my re recap video. So I auditioned for four different drama schools this year. Um, my first two years of auditioning for drama schools, if you haven't know, I'll uh, check, check out my channel. I've done drama school reaction videos or review videos from like all, the, all my last two years. They might be really helpful. They've helped out a lot of other actors. So just check them out. Check on my, click on my channel and they'll be, in the, they'll be quite far down. Uh, or click, just click most, views, most viewed videos because they get a lot of views. <laughs> but yeah, um, last year I did alright. You know, I got recalled at Manchester Metropolitan University and I got recalled at Lipper. Pretty good. Um, didn't get any further than that. But yeah, I learned quite a bit from last year. And uh, this year I auditioned for basically four new four places. So I auditioned for Alra, just like the last two years. Lipper, last, last year. Man Met, just like last year. And a new one, Birmingham School of... Acting and they were my four drama school editions, not drama school editions yet. I wanted to give it one more go, but this was going to be my last year of auditioning for drama schools uh, because I don't, I'm just tired of it, you know. I, I'm just tired of giving 150% all the time, you know, and not getting anything back, you know, and that's what this industry is about. I know it's a, such, such a tough industry, but I'm just fed up of auditioning year after year after year and not getting, not getting anywhere, you know, it's just life's too short. So, um, yeah, this was going to be my last my last time auditioning for drama school. So let's go, let's go started. My first audition was at Alra North in Wigan. <clears throat> I've I've auditioned there twice before. This was my third year auditioning, and um, both just like last the last two times I've auditioned there, I never get past the first bloody round. I don't know what it is, but they, they just don't like me at all. <laughs> I'm just not their sort of actor. So yeah, it was basically we just arrived at the campus in Wigan. We got split off into we all got into this big group, this little black area space and then we all just did all these little exercises like running around the room all these exercises you know really, like breathing exercises all in a circle playing zip zap boing you know, just get to get us warmed up and then we got just like last year we got split up into groups of three i think and we all got up and did our contemporary monologues um this year i did um my monologue from how to disappear and never be found by finn kennedy i played the character of mike it's a really good monologue um i recommend checking it out i, I did that um, but it's really, really hard, Alra, because you're in a room full of other actors who are all sat in a big circle watching you, judging you. And, of course, you do, you're performing in front of a panel as well, which is so, so stressful. And it's, just, it's just horrible. And then they call you out name by name, you get up and do it. And I was blown away. Some of, the, some of the actors, other actors, were really, really good. Like I was like, yeah. So I went up, did my piece, did, did it the best I could, honestly. Um, and, yeah, that was it. Then we all went back downstairs and then we all started doing our Shakespeare pieces, but we had to do that one by one in, in, in a room just, just with the panel, no with the actors. And I was picked last out of everyone, so I had to sit there for like half an hour waiting to do my monologue. It was paid torture. And I did Peter Quince from Midsummer Night's Dream. I think that's one of my favourite Shakespeare monologues. We really liked it. And yeah, I just did the monologue. And honestly, I get to audition and everything. I thought I might have a chance at getting to the second round this year because there's there three rounds, I think, in Alra's audition day. And I thought I might have a chance to get into the second round, but nope. Um, just like last year and the year before, they I got called in and they went, okay, here's the list of all the people who went to the second round, and my name wasn't on the list, just like last year and the year before. And I was like, for fuck's sake, seriously again? Come on. I mean, I, I mean, like seriously, it just every damn time, just. They just don't like me. I'll, I, I, apparently, it's the, I'm just the sort of actor they look for. And then what I hate about the Alra audition is, just like last year and the year before, they take all the people who didn't get us, who didn't get recalled to the second. They take them upstairs and they sit in a little room. And this guy just waffled on about all this jibber jabber about drama and the industry. And I was just like, what is going on here? I mean, seriously. I was, I was, I mean, I was just like, can we just can you just let us go? I'm already pissed off enough. So yeah, that was that was Alra. Done with Alra. F you, Alra. Honestly, I'm done with them. Seriously. And then my second audition was at Lippa, my hometown in Liverpool. Um, and yeah, I was optimistic about Lippa because I really do like Lippa. You know, it's, it'd be, it's in Liverpool, not too far away. And, uh, well, not too far away to my home city. 
And I thought, yeah, because last year I got I got a recall. I got I got quite far on the recall. I think I got to the final stage in the recall, but then I, I didn't get a pipe place. And this year, ooh, it, didn't, it didn't happen. I did the exact same two pieces that I did last year, um, just like I did in Albra. But unfortunately, I didn't get even. I didn't get past the first stage this time round. Oh yeah. Well, to be fair, it was a different panel, so it was a tiny new panel that I had last year. And yeah, I didn't even get past the first round this time. Yeah, I got, I got I finished the edition a week later. I got a letter saying you haven't been recalled. I was a bit surprised because I did get a recall last year at, at Lipper, but it wasn't to be this year, and I was a bit disappointed to be honest because I really thought I had a good chance of getting a, of getting quite far in the Lipper edition, but sadly not. So yeah, that was it with Lipper, and then on to the places where I did get recalls. Let's start off with the Manchester Metropolitan University. This is one of my favourites. I mean, I really enjoyed the new edition there last year. I got recalled last year. Really, really good. I mean, the recall edition is physical. Like, you, you get put through your paces. And yep, I auditioned here there this year, and I got recalled again, just like last year. And just like the recall last year, there's a physical workshop, which is really, really, really physical. There's a, um, a monologue workshop where you just sit and work with the monologue with the member of staff and they, they just they just pace you, put you three paces. And there's also a movement voice. There's also a voice, which is really, really bonkers. And yeah, I gave it 100%, 10%, just like I did last year. Acted my heart out. I was just covered in sweat by the end of it. And then I was like... <laughs> And then they went, okay, here's what is, who, who is, who's got to the second part of the day. Went out a list. Only about 20 people were on it, out of about 50 who were there. And my name was not on that list. I was pretty gutted because I thought I could have had a chance this year, but yeah. Nope, it was not to be at Manchester. Um, gutted because I did give that audition everything I had. And then on to the new place I auditioned for this year, Birmingham School of Acting. Yes, I haven't, this is my first time auditioning there. I went to the uh, initial audition, I thought it was pretty basic, you know, about an hour and a half train down to Birmingham, hour and a half train back, um, all just for, all to just go, to, go in the room and do a monologue, it was like, seriously? But yeah, I did it, and I, I thought I did alright, and then a week later I got saying, you've got a recall, it was made up, and the recall was a long day, it was the longest recall edition I've done, and it was also my very final drama school edition, in ever, so I knew I had to give this everything I got, and um, yeah, so I auditioned, um... It was a big... I stayed in a hotel in Birmingham overnight because it was early in the morning so I couldn't get a train down there really quick enough. So, yeah, it was a big, long day. Oh, my goodness. There was so much physical stuff. There was, we were working with stage combat, all these sticks, doing different movements, a lot of workout exercises, all these different monologues together. Like different, It was really, really physical and really, really uh, challenging day for me, mentally and physically. But I gave it everything I could and by the end of the day, I was just covered in sweat. I stunk and everything. It was horrible. So I, I just... <laughs> Spray myself with deodorant, and then they announced, and then that was it. We didn't find out who who did not get called back. We just we had to we had to even had to sing a song too. I sang a song from Lima Zarab. I couldn't I couldn't sing that to sing that. Ugh. I think I botched that. I just can't sing. So I sang a song called Stars from Lima Zarab. <laughs> Awful. And um, yeah, that was it. We all just get okay. Thank you, everyone. We'll call you back within a week to let you know if you got a place or not. Because this audition, this recall, was the audition to find out whether you got a place at Birmingham or not. Because it was only the final. It was the final 50 people, the final 50 applicants, and half, the 25, get a place in the course, and the other half don't. And, uh, yeah, I thought I got, I might have had, there's a 50% 50, 50 chance I might have got a place in Birmingham, I was like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! And, sadly, I did not get a place. Yep, I was pretty, pretty good. That was the hardest one to swallow, because I came so close at Birmingham, I came so damn close, you know? Yeah, it's just, and that was it. That was my final drama school audition of 2016 and on ever. Ow. And yeah, I gave that audition everything I had. It, knowing that I made it to the, the final 50 in Birmingham, that was something. But yeah, I didn't get a place, sadly. And I was pretty damn gutted. But yeah, luckily this year, I had a plan B. And that plan B is I'm going to Liverpool Hope University to do a degree in drama for three years. So that is my plan B now, because that is it for drama schools. Three years of auditioning and three years of hearing nothing but no's. That is it now. I'm not doing any more. It's just a waste of time and a waste of bloody money. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go to Liverpool Hope Uni and do a drama degree. Yep, it won't be as intense as, dra as a drama school. I probably won't learn as much actor stuff, but I'll still have a great time. I'll still do a lot of different actor stuff, of course actor training, it won't be as, you know, as intense as a drama school, but you know, there'll be a lot more theory, but you know, I'll meet a lot of new people, 
I'll, I'll learn a lot of new things, you know. And at the end of the day, it's still a drama degree. A drama degree looks really good on an actor CV, you know. It can help you get jobs, not just in, in the drama, drama industry, but in, in the whole... Anyway, in itself, really. So, yeah, I'm going to go and do a degree now. So, yeah, my advice for drama school additions is just... If you're if this is your first year auditioning, just go second or third or fourth. Just give it everything you've got. I'm sure you don't even tell me telling you this, but yeah, give it absolutely everything you've got, guys, because it's drama school is just like the industry. It's ridiculously competitive and ridiculously tough. And uh, yeah, I gave it everything I could. I really could. Oh, I couldn't have given any more, and I still didn't get placed. But yeah. So yeah, now I'm going to go to drama school. Hopefully through that I can find another pathway into the industry when I finish, when I'm 24 years old in 20, 2019. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, that were my, that, um, those are my drama school additions. I hope for this year. I hope that was help, somewhat helpful to you. If you have any questions at all, any feedback you'd like me to give you, anything like that, anything, just let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah. So guys, um, also check out my other drama school audition videos. I did quite a few last year and the year before. Or all my other places I auditioned for, like for Arts Ed, for Emrada. <laughs> I tried them in the first year, that didn't work out. But yeah, um, thank you for watching, guys. I hope this has been informative to you. And um, yeah, this will probably be my last ever drama or drama audition recap video now. So to all those fellow, my fellow actors out there, best of luck to you all, and give it 110. percent And who knows, your dream may just come true, like mine. Hopefully, will one day. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all very soon. Take care. See ya.